Hello, 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 welcome. Mangwana ni maskati makadima ne. Welcome to another show of Ndawana and Friends. Chitima Ishimela show on our Saturday afternoon. So welcome. And if you're joining us, please do let me know where you are watching us from. I want to know how it is and how your day is going. Where I am, it's really hot, extremely, extremely hot. So I want to know where you guys are. And while I'm waiting for you guys to message me, I'm just going to uh, play a little intro uh, about the one I end friend. Hello, friends. Welcome to Learning Shona and Debele with the one Matipa and Cindy so we will learn greetings words numbers days and more enjoy hi guys uh welcome back welcome back again i'm really excited about our guest for today i'm always excited but i'm be extremely a little bit extra excited about today but anyway before we go any further we're gonna go straight into our um, library section mm -hmm. so uh, before all the books I'm going to be mentioning, you can actually find them on our description box. Uh, I'm not going to say all the books that we have, but we have a lot of content. So, Kanamchida, please help yourself. And I'm not in Kramanama, but what's the Shona? Go buy the book for the kids, let them learn. And also, you can get it for uh, friends and, and family members for birthday gifts. Mm -hmm. You can buy it for your friends and families. Who want to learn Shona, so and I'm not in Gravani, my book, or just for yourself, you're gonna teach yourself. So, anyway, before um, further ado, I'm just gonna start with our own basic, let's learn basic um, Shona. This is by our very own Dawana and Friends. The book can be found on um, Dawana.com, it also can be found on um, Amazon. Um, and also, we have that in Shona, we also have the same book in Debele also have the same book in Kalanga so familiar besides yourself I think um our guest maybe uh today will give us uh, a vision in Swahili you never know so I'm just giving you guys a hint of what's coming up so <laughs> and then we have our other book yeah called Guvayenga Notina Ambuya Narudu that's by uh, our auntie uh, Gladys Mapanda. That's also can be found on dawana.com or www.southorders.com. And it also can be found on Amazon. And we also have this book, The Mysteries of God in a Crisis by our very own Uncle Julius Chinamo. You can find this on um, Amazon as well. Or you can also DM us and um, let us know which book you're interested in. Not only those, but we also have so many other contents that we have in stock. So if you need any of them, please do let us know. We will be happy to uh, talk to you about it. And also there's something uh, in Dawana and Friends that we're doing this month that if you uh, help us to sell any books, like if you share this video, if you tell them about the book. So once you sell one book, you can actually get a one pound back from it. So yeah, that's why not you share, you earn something back. So amazing. So do let us know, get in touch with us, share with your friends and you get to get a bit of um, some money back as well. So yeah. So guys, um, like I said, the, someone has just asked me now about the uh, content. You can actually, it's www.dawana.com or www.southorders.com or you can also DM us on our Facebook. You can DM us on our Instagram page. You can also DM us on our um, uh, Twitter as well. So anywhere you, you want to um, get in touch with us, we're, we're everywhere. So yeah. Welcome, Shimbakadzi says, Chuchu. Welcome, welcome. It's good to have you. 
back here. Thank you so much for always joining us. We appreciate you. So, guys, I don't like taking your time, but if you're just joining us, I can see people joining in. If you're just joining us, please do let us know where you are watching from and what's the weather like where you are. Where I am right now in, in the United Kingdom is very, very hot. So I want to know, I've got like three fans where I am right now, like surrounding me because it's that hot. So do let me know where you guys are watching from. I'd like to know. So anyway, before going any further, I'm going to introduce you guys to our guest today, which I'm very, very excited about. And we're also going to learn some new things. So stay tuned. Do ask any questions if you guys would like to ask any questions that, um, that are regarding uh, my guest today so as i'm really excited about it um unfortunately i didn't manage to get the clip for to so that you guys get to see what they are all about but nevertheless we're gonna hear all about it so guys please help me welcome my guest today hello 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 steve maina hello hello very good very good i never thought you could pronounce my name with such a great accent <laughs> <laughs> that's really awesome usually people say main 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 no minor really good, minor really nice, good. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. oh welcome <laughs> welcome uncle steve uh thank you so much for being on the one and friends we really appreciate your time i know it's a saturday afternoon you could be somewhere doing a lot of things but you are here with us we just want to say we appreciate you very much for taking your time and being with us this afternoon so how are you Fabulous, fabulous, honestly. Being on the one and friends, oh, 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 friends from Southern Africa, really, really great. It's a, a vindication of the work that we have been doing. And also, I'm very glad to be among people who are uh, thinking the same perspective, see things from the same perspective. So, really, really, really excited. I told all my friends about it, all my family, everyone, everyone, everyone. Yes. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much, um, Steve, for being with us here this afternoon. Uh, welcome, Antitia, and our guest, our precious audience. Thank you so much, Dawana, for that message. We really appreciate you uh, being here with us. Uh, Steve, can you hear me? Hello? I think there's a, there's a little bit glitch with our, our guest at the moment, so while we're waiting for him to um, to get back, we're just going to go into any on, on our adverts. If you want to be happy, join the one and friends. Who you so shy? Hello, Uncle Steve. Can you hear me? Hello. I think there's been a, a bit of a glitch where he is. So anyway, guys, while we're waiting for Uncle Steve to get back, please. Um, OK, I think he's back. Oh. Yeah, I think we we kind of we lost him a little bit there. So while we're waiting for Uncle Steve to get back, please do let me know where you guys are watching from. I'd like to know where you guys are watching from, and um, yes, and tell me what your weather is like. Hello, you're back. I can't hear you. We can't hear you. No, we, we can't hear you. I think you're on mute. Hello? Oh, we, we can't hear you, Uncle Steve. So we're just going to uh, wait for him to, to sort out his um, 
this clip for now. In this basic this season, basic season we, will learn, we will learn written, written words, words, numbers, numbers and Hello, so while we're waiting for Uncle Steve to get back, I think we're having problems um, just trying to connect with him. So can you hear me, Uncle Steve? Hello? Oh, I can't hear you. Hello? Okay, guys. But anyway, uh, moving on. So how have you guys been? How's been your week? I'm just waiting for our guests to get back again. We do apologize for that, glee, uh, for that glitch. Um, we're really trying our best. Can you hear me, Uncle Steve? Yes, yes. Can you yeah. hear me? Yes, better. Much, much better now. Thank you so much. So, oh, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. How about now? Can you that's hear me? Can you? Yeah, that's, okay? that's, ah, yeah, that's fine. So, uh, so right. we're, back now. we're not going to waste any time. We're not going to take any chances anymore. So we yeah, just yeah, going to yeah, yeah. straight into it. So Uncle Steve, we want to get to know about you today, what you do, just to make an awareness. And if anyone is watching this, please share this video with your friends and families. Because what we're doing here is something amazing, something beyond. So we need to support one another. So please, as we're watching this, or if you're going to watch this at a later stage, please help us in sharing this video it will help us to reach as many people as you can because don't be selfish you just don't want to learn or have this information by yourself so please uh do uh help us in sharing this video so anyway uh without further ado uncle steve as we know your name already uh steve minor i just wanted to ask you which part of africa are you from well 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 very great question i think africa the entirety of africa is my motherland <laughs> However, <laughs> if I was to be specific, I'd say Kenya, uh, in a good. in a county called uh, Nyeri. My father's from Nyeri. Okay. Uh, do you, have you heard of Wangari Mathai, the Green uh, Green uh, Green Belt Movement activist? Ah, I've Belt heard about that. Yes, I yeah. have. Now, oh. she's my neighbor. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yes, yeah, she, she wow. came from actually the same village. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, she came from the same village. So yeah. Wow you okay. know of me without knowing of me <laughs> right 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 yeah. amazing that's that's really good to know um yeah, yeah. um sorry going to the uh, comment section quick the week has been good thank you welcome uncle steve thank you so much for that amazing welcome uh greetings Santitia and your co-host and everyone here thank you so much mama for joining us we appreciate you and uh thank you for sharing you're welcome auntie amelia thank you so much for joining us um so you're from kenya what language do you speak? Because, oh, how many languages do you have in Kenya? Uh, we have uh, se over 70 languages. Over 70? Last I checked from the, yes, from the experts. I was in a conference in February, and uh, we were, it was made aware to us that we have more than, we have more than 70 languages that exist um, in our country. Wow. Yeah, so, in uh, fact, uh, uh, last week, let me, let me interject you. Last week, uh, during one of the conferences I was attending, I met a Zimbabwean uh, individual, and he told me there is a whole community of Shona-speaking uh, individuals in our country. I didn't know really? that. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I was so excited. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. That's really amazing. Yeah. You know, it's a small word, and we'll, I didn't know about this now. So whenever I do visit Kenya, I would like to visit this small village and see my other Shona-speaking people. Because myself, I'm, I'm from Zimbabwe, and I, I would like to obviously wherever i go if i can meet your own people there's there's no other joy um, uh, than that so amazing amazing Absolutely. so okay out of the 70 languages uncle steve which one do you uh -huh. speak i speak uh two three languages and understand maybe five uh, okay. we have my mother tongue is kikuyu wangari mother spoke kikuyu and then my second language is swahili all right and then 
my third language will be Kamba. I understand Kamba to a degree. And then you can, because it's about, there are Bantu languages, you can hear also Meru. You can hear also Embu. You can understand Embu. Oh, so, right. Yeah, yeah. So Africa, whenever you grow, whenever you grow in this part of the world, you find out that um, one language is really interrelated with another one. With another, all oh, right. Yeah, so I you understand. can understand part of this language. Also Lingala. Oh, Lingala. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I know that's for Uganda parts, Lingala, right? Lingala yeah. is for U Uganda, uh, uh, Western Uganda, and also Congo, mainly Congo. All right. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. I want to influence said Mabuyani. Obviously, you understand that, right? Absolutely. <laughs> what does that mean? To all our guests that don't understand it, <laughs> what does that mean? Mabuyani. Yeah, what, what does that mean? What, what language is that? Oh, so that's not, I thought that was your language. No, no, uh, it, it means, you. It means yeah, you're it, welcome. Oh, so <laughs> for, for here we say Kariboni. Oh, Kariboni. Oh, Kariboni, right. oh. Kariboni. Thank you so much. And that's also, since, since you speak Swahili, Uncle Steve, feel free to speak Swahili whenever you feel like you need to. But also, you can, when you speak it, translate to, for those that don't understand it. Well, so absolutely <laughs> amazing i love that i love that <laughs> thank you so much hi Adivaita. thank you so much for joining us we appreciate you welcome and thank you for joining thank you for joining we are honored to have you um thank you so much um mabuyani is kalanga for greetings or oh, i mean it's greetings like hello or oh, welcome i suppose welcome it's also a greeting right thank you so much yeah. Mabuyani, for correcting us for that so moving on, Uncle Steve, um, where were you born and raised? Uh, actually, I was born in a county called Kiambu, where, where Jomo Kenyatta, the founding father of our country, comes from. Right. But uh, I was raised in Nairobi primarily. Okay. Nairobi, the capital city of uh, Kenya. Yes, <laughs> we learn Swahili. We learn Swahili also. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I, I was raised in, mostly in the capital city of Kenya, Nairobi. Uh, it's a metropolitan city, so you find that you, you get to interact with many people from different backgrounds, speaking right. different languages. Right. Yeah. Okay. So what is your fa your family tribe or your totem? Uh, Kikuyu. Agekoyo. Oh, you did say. Yeah, and also now the, the totem will be like, if, uh, if was, there was a symbol about uh, the Gekoyo, it would be the olive tree olive yeah. tree no 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 fig tree fig tree oh fig, fig tree. tree fig, fig tree, tree. Yeah. Okay. yeah actually that we used to wash it under the fig tree very long time ago oh, yeah under okay. the fig tree facing mount kenya right. that's how we used to watch it yeah amazing um si since we're on the subject of tribe well i've, I've done um a project before that was uh had to recreate the maasai uh, mm -hmm. outfits and looks and i really enjoyed getting into into all of that do you know a bit more about the Masai's? i i think one of the colors that inspired the swahili stadium branding was red which is primarily one of the colors of Masai. so oh, Masai, right. in oh. fact the the most interactions we had as kikuyus were in between the Masai. we used to Uh, we've lost you though uncle steve to go to war with them and then oh hello yeah yeah i can hear so, you yeah so with the maasai we used to go to war against each other and also war with each other okay uh, they have hate relationship in the olden days but today the maasai is uh, the relationships we have with the maasai are we are preserving the culture of africa and if, as you can see if you can if you had seen in the Twitter feed that I yeah. had, uh, put uh, maybe last week, we, yeah, there was a crisis that. about the Maasai the and Thais, people yeah. are trying to displace them. So we as Swahili yeah. Stadia, we stand with uh, trying to protect our heritage, uh, uh, African heritage. And the Maasai are a very big part of this Swahili, Swahili. and uh, African heritage. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Amazing. So, um, OK, moving on with some of our questions. What do you know about Zimbabwe? It's oh. culture, people, food, anything. What do you know about Zimbabwe? If you'll allow me. If you'll allow yes. me. Yes, I'm allowing you, Uncle Steve. 
Only one to go see. Only one to go see. My favorite. My favorite. My favorite. My favorite. In fact, huh, when I used to play uh, practice guitar, I used to try and learn his songs. Okay. okay. And then there's one Nerea, Nerea. Also, something very famous about Zimbabwe. Robert Mugabe has seven degrees. I think he was the most learned individual, any African leader. Absolutely. <laughs> he was a very, very smart man. May he so rest in peace. <laughs> um, we really, we really have been uh, inspired by the story of Zimbabwe and uh, what they did. Sorry, there's interference from my side. I don't know if you can hear it. There's, there's, hear campaigns. It. there's campaigns going on in the country. So right. <laughs> it's election time. And also one of our running mates is called Wajakoyo. He has about seven degrees, like, uh, like Robert Mugabe. Mugabe. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Well, <laughs> may the best man time. win. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's okay. So, what is it that you, what is it like? What was it like growing up in Kenya for you, Uncle Steve? Actually, it was a very exciting experience. Looking back, uh, right. I got to interact. I got to interact with uh, very many people from different backgrounds. I got to learn languages, new languages. Uh, especially when you grow around Nairobi. It really shapes your worldview because you keep meeting people from different parts of the world, different Absolutely. parts of the country. So you grow with the perspective that like you're an international citizen. So um, oh, I like your cap, by the way. So oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, awesome. I need that. Thank you. <laughs> we'll definitely send one to you, Uncle Steve. Absolutely, absolutely. And so also, Nairobi. Yeah, go on. Nairobi is a very great place to live. I'm sorry for the background noise. I will send away. But they are passing near the office. So Nairobi is a great place to live, aside from the noise that you hear. Uh, usually <laughs> a very great place to live. So uh, you get to meet new people, new cultures, new languages, new restaurants. Uh, also, it's the only city where there's a, there's a national park. Oh. Okay, the city is within the national park. The national park is within, within the city. Actually, most of the Nairobi is occupied by the national park, Nairobi National Park. So right. it's a very interesting city to live in. Oh, amazing. And if anyone is watching and you're from Kenya, please let me know in the comment section. I want you guys to, um, I just want to know where, where you guys are uh, watching us from. So thank you so much for that, um, Uncle Steve. And for those that are asking about the cup like Uncle Steve, you can find this on our website, www.ndawana.com. So it's the lovely cup. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for that. Um, so, you know, like... Um, you grew up in Kenya. So as a young man or young boy growing up, what games did you play? Well, well, well. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, I hope my mother doesn't get to hear You look like you're someone that's very competitive, just looking at you. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Actually, we used to play football. Talking of competitiveness, we used to play football. And if my team loses, I carry the ball and go with the ball at home. No more playing. No more games today. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah, competitiveness was always. I've always been on a very long competitive streak for the rest of my for uh, most of my life, and it actually shaped. Uh, I think such attitudes uh, right. shape where you will get to go in the future because now you you want to be the number one. You have to have to produce the great con the, the best content, of best course. everything, best yeah. everything. So, uh, Nairobi, okay, that's what that was one of the games football, but there were also other forms of football where it's called nutmegging. Do you know nutmegging where the ball passes through the maybe in the middle of your legs? You shouldn't allow that, right? Okay. So, if it does happen to you, we usually had a game that no nutmegging, but it was oh. called it was called chobo. Chobo is another name for nutmegging, right? So, if the ball passes through your legs, man, you received a beat down. Oh, the beat down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that can point. be nice. That can be nice. That's why I say disclaimer. I hope my mother is not watching this. <laughs> uh, what happened to his son those many years ago? Oh, no, that's, that's, not, that's, not, very, that's not very nice. <laughs> yeah, but also we played marbles and then we played hide and seek. I think these are common games in Africa. Marbles, yeah. hide and seek, maybe a tag where tag, yeah. Someone, yeah, yeah, tag. Yeah, so we usually play those games. And also swimming in the river, 
Oh, yes. We had rivers and ponds. Amazing, yes. Those were good it. times, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was awesome times. Oh. I love my childhood. I Amazing. miss my childhood. <laughs> uh, yeah. I know, same here. Uh, Ian Guti, watch, uh, Wachira, watching from Kenya. Oh, Absolutely. welcome, um, Uncle Ian. Thank you so much for joining us uh, uh, all the way from Kenya. Thank you so much for joining us. We are Hello, sure. Ian. Hello, Ian. Hello, Ian. Ian. Let, me, let me shout out to Ian. Ian is a very great uh, climate activist and okay. he's been doing very many climate uh, awareness campaigns, which Swahili Study has also been involved in. So I'm yeah. very glad to have him on the session. Thank you very much, Ian. No problem. Oh, thank you so much. Special hello to um, to Steve and to you all generally. Really loving the session. Thank you so much, Ian. We really appreciate you joining us and being here with us. And we'd like to know more about you maybe on our next session, um, Ian. So please do get in touch. We want to know climate change. That's what we're all about, right? So, Absolutely. Um, thank you so so much for mentioning that, um, Steve. We really appreciate you. So, uh, what did you become? What did you want to do uh, when you grow up? Because you know, parents used to ask us, "What do you want to do, Steve, when you grow up?" What did you want it to do? Actually, uh, that's a very great question because it has many parts. At one point, I wanted to become a professor. Then I wanted to become a footballer because of Ronaldinho. There was a footballer called Ronaldinho. So yes. I, used, I usually watch football and I say, oh man, I want to become Ronaldinho. Yeah. However, <laughs> in my teenage years now, I, want, I wanted to become like uh, Trump. <laughs> because oh. I read, yeah, I read, I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and I was, oh, media personality, media personality. Yeah. And then now, later in life, I want to, I just want to become a, uh, an information scientist, and that's who, who I am, that's what I'm practicing today. Uh, information scientist, uh, disseminating information to kids, especially because of Swahili Stadia. So I might say I'm living, right now I'm living my dream. Right now right. I'm living my dream. So Amazing. it started out with professor, go, yeah. right, be personality, celebrity, whatever. Oh, yeah. I also wanted to become a rapper. <laughs> you wow. <wanna> be <laughs> well, you know what, Uncle Steve, hold that thought. Hold that thought. So you've actually answered my next question, which was, so what did you now do growing up? So you now uh -huh. mentioned about um, a study. Can you please tell us a little bit more about that and what you actually do for those that need to... Um, more, learn more about you or know what you do what is it that you do what you are but what do you want people to know so this is a platform that we you know even though we, we might not have thousands of people watching right now but this uh video will go uh be shared with so many people so for some people that are gonna watch later what what is it that you want to what you do what you want people to be aware of all right first major shout out to teen team in the chat room our brothers from kenya thank you thank you major shout out so uh i'll really go forward to straight swahili study what swahili study is about let me show you you can see swahili study nice yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and the I'll website www.swahilistudia.org yeah we'll put that in now. our description box as well yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can follow us on all social media platforms on Swahili Stadia, hashtag Swahili Stadia. So uh, Swahili Stadia, what the main mandate of Swahili Stadia is to disseminate Swahili information to elementary level students across Africa through digital and print publications. So we create content, media rich content, media rich content, and uh, say content uh, in, in, in regards to gr Swahili grammar, uh, Swahili stories, uh, publications, children's literature, and all that in the Swahili ecosystem. We also offer um, technical expertise, Swahili technical okay. expertise, Swahili technical workshops. We organize several Swahili technical workshops across schools for the students who want to learn Swahili. And also for teachers, because we have, uh, we have different levels of... Uh, advancement in Swahili. We have people okay. teaching PhDs, we have people teaching master level. So we offer a lot in the uh, Swahili ecosystem. Wherever, wherever Swahili means culture, wherever Swahili means okay. education, wherever Swahili yeah. means art, wherever Swahili means technology, guarantee Swahili study will be there. Right. Amazing. That is really something amazing that you are doing over there. So I know um, uh, it's uh, uh, Swahili study uh, where can people find you? 
if they need to be in touch with you whether you are i'm sure you because is it this is online based right so you can be you could be anywhere in the world and you still offer services right so yeah, where can people absolutely. find you Okay, habari, habari, salama sana, dima pudi, salama sana, thank you, you know Swahili, very good. So, <laughs> this uh, dima pudi can find us on Swahili Stadia on Twitter, at, at Swahili Stadia, Facebook, Swahili Stadia, YouTube, Swahili Stadia, Instagram, Swahili Stadia, you go on Instagram, you'll find the, uh, we have a, like a digital archive of uh, what we have been doing over the years, we've been existed since two for two years so you can find us on all social media platforms uh, swahilistadia.com is still under maintenance i'm sorry for that but i'm working with the it team who brought me these earphones to make sure that swahilistadia.com is up and running Amazing. so text me dm me dm me text me everywhere swahili twitter facebook instagram i will respond amazing thank you so much for that uncle steve like you hear him he's on all platforms Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, get in touch with him so you can actually get to find out um, more about his information. There is some on our description box as well. If you go on our description Absolutely. box under this video, you can get all the details about him at Swahili Stadia on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, and Facebook. So please get in touch. You could be anywhere in the world and he can still offer you services. So get in touch. You will not be disappointed i can tell you that the reason why we have this man on our show is because we believe in what he's doing and he's doing an amazing job and i'm sure you will not be disappointed so get in touch if you need any content creating like he you you've had the man so please do get in touch with um uncle steve you sure be able to help you so anyway so uh moving on now to our um, to our with our session i want i was gonna ask uh when um what is your favorite story or or tell like you know growing up like uh for for instance in zimbabwe we have uh, things what we call um like ngano so it's like a, uh, a story tell a tell story or something like that do you have something similar that you your favorite story that you you can share with with uh, with us and our audience today ngano uh, it reminds me of a Kikuyu word called ngano. Ngano means stories. Oh, that's okay. the same. That's the same. That's so, exactly. Ngano uh, in my country as well means so. If you have any ngano that you want to share with us, please, that's what I'm asking for. And feel free to tell us in Swahili and then, then summarize what you said in English so that we can understand. Yeah. So yeah. The, flow, the flow is yours when you're ready. So, ngano. <laughs> All right, right. Yeah, uh, the Abunwasi. Um, siku moja alipenda kuchezea watu. Kijana huyu uh, kila mara alikuwa analia kwamba oh majirani, oye, oh oye, oh kujeni kuna simba ametokea. Majirani, oye, oh oye, oh kujeni kuna fisi ametokea. Majirani wanapokuja wanapata kwamba Hamna simba, hamna fisi. Siku nyingine, majirani. Oye, oye. Kuna chui ya metokea. Majirani. Wakija, wanapata, hmm, hakuna chui. Majirani, ndovu wanakuja. Majirani wakuja kufika chini ya mti, wanapata kijana, hakuna ndovu, hakuna mnyama yote. Lakini siku moja, ikawa kuwa um, chui wakweli alitokea. Na kwa sababu kijana huyu alikuwa mezoea kuwaita majirani. Majirani kujeni, 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 kujeni. Ile siku ambayo chui alikuja, akapata kwamba eh, hakuna mtu anaweza kumsaidia kijana yule. Kijana yule akaliwa na chui na majirani waliporudi wali kuangalia kijana, wakapata ya kwamba uh, Basi kijana kisha agadubia. Now translation. There okay. was a boy who usually no, before, sorry, uh, before, before, had a before happy... Before you translate, yeah. 
uh, all, yeah. I understand all I had was there's no meat. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I understand. There's no meat. <laughs> I, I, actually, <laughs> the context with that is that uh, the the meat here was the boy who was devoured by the by the hyenas. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So there was this kid who usually uh, who usually called out the neighbors telling them oh there's a lion in the neighborhood come and help me hey he screams oh yeah there's a there's an elephant in the neighborhood come and help me when the neighbor uh, the villagers come they find that oh there isn't any he continues continues the saga and lies to the villagers as usual the next day <laughs> oh, oh there's a leopard come and help me so the villagers after coming for days uh, they find so what happened is one day he was serious the tree and started calling on the neighborhood. Oh, villagers, come and help me. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, come and help me. <laughs> but now the villagers did not show up because they thought, ah, this this kid is always playing with us. So yeah. what happened is the boy was devolved. Oh. That's where Yama comes. Okay. We lost you now. <laughs> he became the food for the for the for the leopard. For the lions. Uh, oh. uh, the moral of the story is uh, uh, don't take people for granted. Don't take people. For granted. Don't take, don't take people for granted, for granted is the moral of the story. Hello, I lost you. No, yeah, we can we can almost about hear you, Uncle Steve. Hello. All right, guys, while we're waiting for Uncle Steve to get back, uh, he was just saying the moral of that story he was saying is don't take anyone or anybody for granted. So that was the moral of the story that he was saying. He did say it in Swahili, and uh, he was just saying, yeah, yeah, just to narrate it, do not take anyone for granted. And honestly, sometimes a lot of people do that when they take people for granted, and then you ended up regretting, you know, taking that person for granted. So don't take anyone for granted, like... That's what Uncle Steve was saying in a short while. Thank you so much for show, uh, for sharing, Gano. Uh, Gano um, Uncle Steve, we really appreciate you. And it's amazing Gano. to actually know that. Gano. Um, no, Gano. We, are, we are connected somewhere, somehow, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, go yeah. to the Absolutely. section. I'm coming for lessons. I want to learn Swahili, which is on the uh, one of the official African languages. Absolutely official, you know, and that's, that's really good. Please keep us posted on how the lessons are going. We will definitely Absolutely. want to know how the lessons are going. And um, Shumbakaz was really excited about the story. <laughs> gano, 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 gano. <laughs> yeah, Dawana and friends, uh, Lenshona and Develi, yeah, remember that during uh, lockdown, I self-taught Swahili and I shocked my Kenyan colleague the day she went back to the wow. office, I greeted her and responded awesome. to awesome. in Swahili. <laughs> oh, well done. Oh, that's Mama. me. That's me. That's me. That's Mama me. Peter, that's I'm me. Still saying get in touch with him. She wants to know more about you. And uh, obviously, this, 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 this is really exciting. So uh, thank you so much. Um, Bantu languages, Ngano, the same in Kenyan language as Shona. Oh, amazing. And a response, I remember I was impressed you picked it up so well. You need to now go visit Brother Steve in Kenya. Absolutely. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Brother Steve said you're welcome. So many Bantu words uh, are shared. I had Akuna, Simba, and a few more. <laughs> Akuna. 
it means hakuna means no there's no like when you say hakuna matata no worries hakuna no. matata matata is worries no. hakuna means there isn't any there isn't. Yeah? Okay. simba is a liar yes from the yes. Uh, show lion, lion king lion yeah so in my language simba yes. means um, yes, yes. Means strength so simba is like strength me oh in strength. my language yes ah, strength. Yeah. Send this Nguvu. 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 Amazing. Nguvu. 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 All right. Uwezo. Uwezo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Shivakazi said, I heard the word Simba in Nengano. What does Simba mean in your language? You just uh, yeah. answered your, your question already. Thank you so much. Exactly. And uh, Tia impressively had had no nyama <laughs> i know right um so hey. correct uh lovely educative ngano thank you so much uncle steve for that for an educative one what is boy <laughs> in swati someone is asking you uncle steve uh-huh boy is mbulana mbulana mbulana, mbulana. Yeah, huh? Or Kijana. Kijana. Yeah. All right. What's Kujuna? Boy. Ki Kijana is a uh, is a uh, a term you usually re refer to when you're when you're referring to boys. You say Vijana. Okay. You say for for girl is Msichana. 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 So Mbulana na Msichana. Mbulana na Msichana. Na here is oh, and. Na, yeah. Amazing. Nice, Ngano. Thank you so much, Anvaida. Moral of the Ngano is don't take people for granted. Thank you so much for narrating that. It really yeah. is. Um, I will definitely get in touch with you, Uncle Steve, for Mama Mama Puti. So, Absolutely. No welcome. problem. <laughs> and you said you're welcome. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you for your comments. In Shona Lion is Shumba. Thank you so much for that, Dawana, our friends. Mbulana or Kijana. Wow, wow, yeah. Well Mbu. done, Mbu. Dawana. Let, let, me let me type it in uh, the chat. Auntie Ronnie, La um, well done for that. Kijana. Simba. Girl in Shona is Musikana. Muskana. Oka baby. <laughs> I think we lost Uncle Steve again, but we're running out of time. So hopefully he gets back on us so he can teach us something. Uh Okay, why are we are waiting? I think he was trying to to see something. Mvulana, as in that's what he was saying. Is Mvulana as in M V U L A N A Mvulana? Mvulana. Okay, I think we lost Uncle Steve at the moment. So, but guys, moving on with the show. Um, thank you so much for everyone that has joined us. We really appreciate you guys taking your time on this sunny Saturday. You could be doing all sorts, but you are here with us. And uh, if you need any more information uh, regarding uh, Steve, Mayena, you can get it on our description box. All the information is there. And uh, while we're waiting for, for him to come back, we're just gonna ask if they I'm just gonna go to the comment section quickly. And uh, <laughs> and Moto Inshona and Kalanga is fire. Thank you. Oh Mo, uh, Kalanga Inshona is the same, amazing. Um Volana, absolutely. That's the right way. I think that's a boy, right? Thank you, Volana, for boy. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that. I want to friends. 
and guys while we're just waiting for uncle steve i'm not sure if he's gonna be coming back but i'm just gonna give him a few minutes for him to come back and then we will continue with our show and we're almost running out of time so just a quick hey guys i'm selu hi i'm selu and we are the two minantandu cindy so in indino farra matiba we definitely love dawana and friends subscribe to their youtube channel Check out the answer they keep in my stimulus. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, just going, Uncle Steve has to come back and teach us Swahili. We have, <laughs> we have come back. Uh, I was welcoming my other friend who was there, who was coming back. Okay. And uh, my laptop uh, disconnected in the course of it. But Charles is going to be uh, joining us very soon soon going to be joining us very briefly so welcome okay. all right we are we are waiting for um uh charles so while we're waiting for Charles, i'm just gonna quickly go to the uh, comment section Bantu languages are the same and we'll definitely invite him again so that's Thank when you. we lost you we are so sorry you don't come back we'll definitely invite you again so we're thinking uh -huh. In back, Mvura in Shona, Vula Kalanga is hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mvua is Swahili for rain. Mvua. Oh, yeah, so in, in, in Shona is like water, so it's the same thing basically. Yeah, yeah, wow, same root, same root. So, water for us is Maji, 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 and All then right. in Kikuyu is Mbura, Mbura is Mbura, okay. Rain. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, so you man, also this is so similar. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kalanga, actually, no, I don't speak Kalanga. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's fine. No, but, uh, but, so I, but I was told by... Uh, Angus Steve does I, I not speak told, Kalanga, guys. No, I do not speak Kalanga. However, I've been told that I look uh, like a person from Kalanga, northern uh, <laughs> uh, part of Botswana. <laughs> I have a friend in Botswana really? who told me, Kalanga, you look like a Kalanga individual. So I'm like, okay. You know, you know, you you've got you've got very very good English as well. Uh, I was gonna mention that to you because I've I, I've got <laughs> friends you. from Kenya and they they have a very strong accent, which I'm not perceiving from you. Uh, at all. Yeah, I grew up as a as an introvert. I didn't speak a lot growing up, so. Uh, all right, amazing. Yeah, amazing. That was it. Also, music, music, what we were influenced by, the music, the TV, Hollywood, all that. You get to pick up so many things. And then when you start speaking, that's when you realize, oh, there's something weird, very weird about how I speak. Right. But yeah, yeah, we're here now, uh, <laughs> speaking Swahili. That's, that's amazing. So yeah. anyway, um, Uncle Steve, just moving on with some of our uh, getting to know you. Um, I know, uh, if there's, is there anything that you can teach us from what you do? Uh, yeah, actually, I could give the lessons that I've picked on. Okay, um, if you don't mind. First, first of all is um, have an attitude, have a very positive attitude in whatever you're doing. Uh, always try to be welcoming because the people who you will come into your house are going to be opening up even more doors for you in the future. So we always try not to work in isolation. That's the thing I've been repeating. And Ian knows about this. I speak about it all the time. Never work in isolation. If you see someone who's doing a job that you like or someone that you admire, approach them. Mm. Uh, let us move in the spirit of Ubuntu. Okay? Let us move together. Uh, because when we move together, we go even further. So for me, it's always about collaboration, collaboration. Uh, treat people with the utmost respect never take people for granted like we said in the yeah. nano mm -hmm. so um umoja means unity umoja means unity in swahili so right. to ko umoja, let us move as one as one uh, yeah. absolutely thank so, you so much collaboration for love for each other did you hear that guys collaboration there's there's something about working together like what we're doing right now, we are working together because not only 
this audience is gonna watch this everyone they're gonna be all over the place getting to watch and see what you guys are doing so Vika, that's amazing uh mama Vika, say say, you, you do look like my brothers yeah, hello I um hi uh, you're live uh, on the one <laughs> and friends <laughs> okay there's another one here come here come here come here come here charles come here so we it's a big team. Oh yeah, hello. Hello, hello Uncle Charles. Hello. <laughs> You're welcome to Andawana and Friends live show. Thank you so much. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the team is a very lovely team. We are all wearing the same t-shirts. It's awesome. Amazing. It's awesome. It's awesome. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, amazing for what you guys are doing. Keep keep up Thank the you. good work. Keep up the great work. And I Thank love you. that togetherness that you know you're not you're alive with us, but you you want your friends as well to be with us to for Absolutely. us to see them. That's beautiful. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's beautiful. Absolutely. Thank you so much for yeah. for that. Yeah. Thank you. We Thank really you. appreciate you. So okay. um before we go, um, Uncle Chas, before we let you go, is there anything that you you say one lesson that you said you have learned through your career so far? Is there any one less one very important? I know you mentioned about being togetherness, but is there anything? Maybe it could have been something, an experience. It could be bad experience, a good experience that you've learned. Is there anything that, something vital that you want you can share with us that you've learned? So if anyone is watching this or will be watching this, they want to do exactly what you're doing, or they're doing something similar to what you're doing. What piece of advice or what lesson could you give give them that you've learned in your career so far? I think I, I was talking too much and I lost him. I'll give you two. <laughs> He's back. I'll give you two lessons. I'll give you two lessons. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Two yes. lessons. So the first lesson is a philosophy that I live by. It's, um, what I live by is be humble enough to learn. Be humble enough to learn. Be mm -hmm. um, courageous enough to ask. Be courageous enough to ask and willing enough to apply. So learn, ask, apply. Learn, apply. ask, apply. Learn, apply. ask, apply. Yeah. The other one is fail forwards. As you can see through the course of this uh, interview, there's been many uh, failures, uh, electrical failures, <laughs> internet <laughs> failures, <laughs> all, all kinds of failures. So let's embrace failure and- Absolutely. Fail forward, let's fail forward. Let's pick up from where we failed from and then keep moving. Never stop, Absolutely. never stop, never. Keep failing because most of our, most uh, from my background, I can say one of the things, one of the things that are usually or acts as a big, huge deterrent to the progress of a student is the fact that they failed. But if we can normalize failing, fail, let's fail often, fail all the time, fail forward because you learn more in failure. Than you learn from success absolutely so fail more and we also learn from our mistakes so you know like all the failures we're talking about the glitch next time we're gonna have you back on live show obviously things would have been better would have have a, a better setup in terms of like network and stuff so we do learn from our failures and we, we shouldn't give up on each other like i could have said oh you know what uncle steve is getting too much this glitch and everything i can't hear you forget it let's move on but no we have to support and encourage one another in, in, in all we do. That's a profound message as well. Thank you so much for that, Absolutely. Uncle Steve. I'm just going to quickly go um, to uh, two lessons Absolutely. from Uncle Steve. Be humble enough to learn, be courageous Thank enough to you. ask, Thank and you. willing Thank enough you. to apply. Uh, sail forward, learn from failures, and move forward. Never stop. That's amazing, amazing, amazing. You know what? This should be, your face should be next to it. This message, your face should be next to it, if you know what I mean, and just encourage people on a daily basis. That's that's an amazing, amazing message. That if I've learned anything today, this is it. Thank you so much for 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 this, um, Uncle Steve. We really appreciate it. United, we stand. Divided, we fall. Absolutely. 
never fail uh, never fear failing instead learn less learn lessons from failure and mistakes absolutely mm. thank you so much mama for that a man of absolute wisdom we have learned so much and that is so true thank you so much Ndawana. thank you guys so much anyway guys as we're coming out to the end of this show i just want to ask in our audience if anyone is celebrating their birthday this week if it's your best birthday today if it was your birthday last week um us from dawana and friends we would like to wish you a very happy birthday and uncle steve if there's um if you can send us a, a, a so uh, i don't know if you saw this uh, an absolute wisdom we have learned so much thank you 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 so thank much you. Who, whose birthday is it because i want to sing a song uh oh, about this I was, yeah. yeah i was gonna ask you to help us sing i uh, wish our audience so we celebrate everyone that celebrated their birthday last week or uh -huh. if their birthday this week or this this month of june we wish uh -huh. them a, a very happy birthday from the one starting with you so when you're ready so uh do you guys have cake or uh, in zimbabwe do you have cake or do you have uh actually we have in kenya we have a food called ugali ugali we have ugali too Ah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we say kata ke kisi ugali. Kata ke kisi ugali. Kata ke kisi ugali. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Kata ke kisi ugali. Kata ke kisi ugali. Kata ke ki kata kata ke ki kata kata ke kisi ugali. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday everyone. Happy birthday. Happy Thank birthday. you so much. Oh, yeah. that, that, that was lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Uncle Steve. We really appreciate you. I apologize okay. for my voice. No, oh, that's beautiful. Just get the message. <laughs> exactly. So basically, what are you saying in, in, in that song? We are saying cut the cake is not Ugali because oh, Ugali we eat every day. Yeah, Ugali, so, Ugali, you do this. Yes, exactly, oh, exactly. Yeah, I get you, I get you. Okay. Yeah, so cut the cake, cut the cake. This is not a <laughs> Yeah, celebrate. Uh, little, little. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Oh, let, let, let me type that. Let me type that. Let me type that. <laughs> but amazing. She's very close. Kata keki, kata K A T A. Let me keki. See you, Ugali. That way. That's it. You sing it? Uh let me see. Yeah. In the chat. Is it yes. that one? Yes. Yes, exactly. Okay, amazing. Thank you so much yes. for, for that lesson. Yes. Uh but I think the, the way you've said it is um you said it you you um said it in your own language, right? As in Absolutely. written it in okay. Yeah. Oh, Kata is cut. Kata oh. is cut. Oh, okay, so if anyone is, is celebrating yeah. their birthday this week, uh, you've had a beautiful song from um, our very own uh, Uncle Steve. So thank you so musician. much for that. <laughs> our musician, you know, a yeah. rapper. I, I thought he was going to rap for us. <laughs> that beautiful song. But uh, if, you, if you are celebrating uh, your birthday, <laughs> if you are celebrating your, your birthday uh, this week or today, we want to wish you a very happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, dear friend. Happy birthday to you. We wish you many more. We wish you many more. We wish you many more, dear friend. We we want to wish a happy birthday to all our friends if it's your birthday today or it was your birthday a few days ago. Toti makoro koto ne gore ija. Senza mso pengo mnyago mucha. Yay! So thank you so much. A happy birthday to everyone that celebrated their birthday last week. God bless you with many more beautiful years. And from Uncle Steve, I just want to say a massive thank you. 
thank you so much for being with us today we appreciate you and we would love to hear from you again so please do come back to our show uh please we want to learn more about you want to learn more about especially what you're doing the uh you know amazing job that you're doing so i just want to say Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. We have actually come to the end of our beautiful show. I wish we had more time. So that's why I would like to have you back because I've got so much so really that I want to learn, not just me, a lot of audience as well. So uh, your last words to our audience, uh, Uncle Steve, before we say our goodbyes. Can you hear me? I think he can't hear me. Absolutely. I think we've lost him. So thank you so much, everyone, as well, that have joined us today. Thank you for being with us and Dawana and Friends Show. We'll be back again on another Saturday, Ishti Mela Show. Thank so thank you so much for joining us. I don't know if Uncle Steve is still here or if he can hear us. But um, if not, then we saying our goodbyes and hope we will catch up with you guys on another Saturday show. Uncle Steve, are you still there? Thanks and God bless. Um, was Thank you, Mama. Uh, till then. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello friends. More shamwari. Salbonan vangan. Welcome to learning Shona and Debele with Ndawana. Matipa and Cindy so. We will learn greetings, words, numbers, days and more. Enjoy. So thank you so much. I saw that you came back Uncle Steve. Did you wanted to say your last words before you go? Okay, I, th I think we lost him, guys. So, bye. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. Have a blessed Saturday. Enjoy your sun Saturday. Enjoy your Sunday. And we'll see you guys again on another Saturday. Thank you so much, Uncle Steve. We'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. <laughs>